In this video, we're going to learn how to use vectors in order to determine if something is speeding up or slowing down. And this is going to be our coordinate system here. We're going to define this as the positive x direction and the up direction as the positive y direction. Now suppose you have a car with an initial velocity in this direction. So I'm going to draw the velocity vector pointing in the positive x direction. Now the question is, if I apply a force to this car, which direction do I need to apply this force in to cause this object to speed up? Now by Newton's second law, if I want to speed up this object, I need to apply a force to the car in this, in this direction to cause this car to speed up. Now by Newton's second law of motion, objects speed up in the direction of the net external force acting on it, so this car is going to accelerate in this direction. So now what I've done is, I've drawn three vectors. The velocity vector indicating the direction in which this object is initially moving. The force vector indicating the direction in which I have to apply a force in order to cause this object to speed up and the acceleration vector. Now one of the things that you should notice is by Newton's second law the force vector and the acceleration vector so the force and acceleration vector always point in the same direction. In the same direction. And that's because forces cause objects to accelerate in the direction of the net external force. Now the question then becomes, is this object speeding up or slowing down? Because the word acceleration in the English language is somewhat confusing. In the English language, we tend to think of acceleration as always speeding up. And then we have this other word in the English language called deceleration to always indicate that the velocity of an object is decreasing. But in physics, acceleration only means a change in velocity. So what you need to do is take a look at which direction the vectors are pointing in. To be specific, you need to look at what direction the velocity and acceleration vectors are pointing. So in this case, whenever you have the velocity and acceleration vectors point in the same direction, the object's going to speed up. Now the word speed up indicates that the velocity is changing, but not only is the velocity changing, the velocity is increasing. So when the velocity and the acceleration vector both point in the same direction, in this case they're both pointing to the right in the positive direction, the object's going to speed up or increase in velocity. Now note that in this case the velocity vector is pointing in the positive direction. So whenever the velocity is a positive number and the acceleration vector is a positive number, the object's velocity is going to increase. The object's going to speed up. And as an example of that, let's suppose we had an object with an initial velocity of plus 2 meters per second and an initial acceleration of plus 4 meters per second squared. So notice that whenever you have positive velocity and positive acceleration, the object's going to increase in velocity, that is, speed up. Now let's take a look at another example. Now in this example, the velocity is going to be in this direction, in the positive x direction. The question is, in which direction do you need to apply a force to this car in order to slow the car down? Well in this case, you're going to have to apply a force in the opposite direction to the direction that the car is initially moving in order to slow it down. Now by Newton's second law of motion, the object's going to accelerate in the direction of the net external force. Again, notice that the force and acceleration vectors point in the same direction. Now we use the word acceleration to indicate that this object is slowing down because that's what acceleration is, a change in velocity per change in time. And that just goes again to reinforce the failure of the English language to embrace this idea that acceleration is a change in velocity per change in time. Now in this case, what you should see is that the velocity vector in this case is pointing in the positive x direction and the acceleration vector is pointing in the opposite direction. So whenever the velocity and the acceleration vectors point in opposite directions, the object's going to slow down. The object is still accelerating, but in this case, the object is slowing down. The, the object's velocity is decreasing. Now let's just reinforce this idea. So notice the velocity vector in this case is pointing in the positive direction. So in this case you'll have positive velocity, so or the velocity will be a positive number. And in this case the acceleration is pointing in the negative direction, so the sign of the acceleration is going to be a negative number. In this case, if we have an initial velocity of say plus 10 meters per second and an acceleration of negative 2 meters per second squared, notice that the sign of the velocity is different than the sign of the acceleration. And so this is going to indicate that the velocity is going to decrease or the object is going to slow down. So just to summarize everything that we've talked about in this video, when the velocity 
and acceleration vectors point in the same direction, the object's going to speed up. And in this case, the velocity and the acceleration vector are pointing in the positive direction. But imagine you had a velocity vector pointing in the negative direction and an acceleration vector pointing in the negative direction. Notice again that they're still pointing in the same direction, but in this case, in the negative direction, the object's velocity is still going to be increasing. Now when the velocity vector and the acceleration vector points in opposite directions, so the object's going to slow down. So in this case, notice the velocity in this case would be a positive velocity and the acceleration would be negative, but you can also have the opposite case, in which case the velocity vector points in the negative direction and the acceleration vector points in the positive direction. The important thing to notice is that the velocity and the acceleration vectors point in opposite directions, and that's going to indicate that the velocity is going to decrease.